You can easily derive the expansion of sine of x plus y from the figure you see here. Let's first complete our setup. Now here I see the angles, x and y. From alternate interior angles, if this is x plus y, then this must also be x plus y. If we call this angle y, then we can call this the complement of y. That is, the angle that completes it to 90 degrees. This is 90 degrees. Since the total here is 180 degrees, the angle here will be the complement of this angle. So, y. This is also the angle y. Now, this is a right triangle. My angle is x and my hypotenuse is 1. Then I can label the side opposite as sine x and the adjacent side as cosine x. When I look at the right triangle here, my hypotenuse is 1. And I can write sine of x plus y for the side opposite x plus y. When I look at the right triangle here, my hypotenuse is sine x and the angle here is y. So I can say that the length of the side here is sine x times cosine y. When I look at the right triangle here, my hypotenuse is cosine x, and for the side opposite y, I can write cosine x times sine y. Now, the sum of this line segment and this line segment here will give me the long side of the rectangle. So, let's write this equation. Sin of x plus y equals, I'm writing the sum of these two line segments. Sin x times cosine y plus cosine x times sin y, which is the function with respect to both x and y.